Today I want to explain how the hands, wrists, and arms work throughout the golf swing. They're actually much quieter than you think they are. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of folks think that it's the job of the wrists and hands to square the club, and they even try to get rid of that slice by turning the hands over. I think that's some pretty bad advice, and as a matter of fact, I've heard that advice given from the odd pro, and I really just think it complicates things. It's extremely difficult to square the club exactly the same at high speed every time as you rotate and turn your hands over. In reality, I play my best golf when my hands and wrists are neutral and quiet and my arm swing is synced up with my body coil. When that happens, my hands feel very quiet, my wrists feel very quiet, and there's not a lot of flippiness going on. Let me show you how it actually should work. As I swing my golf club back, I swing my arms up as I turn my chest, but look how neutral my hands and arms are. I'll even show you from this side. I swing up. See how neutral that is? Not much has happened at all. And the reality is, then the club hinges up this way. So there's a little bit of a hinging from the weight of the club, but there's no roll or rotation at all on the way back. And the same is really true on the way down. What happens a lot of times is folks get the club in a bad position and they need to use their hands to save the shot. But you shouldn't do that. The idea is to go from something like this position here down through impact to this position. And if you look at my hands on this side, they're quite neutral again. There's not a lot of flipping or turning. If you're being told you have to use your hands to square the club, or if even when you practice you feel like you have to use your hands to square the club, my suggestion to you is you're working on the wrong thing and you're a little out of synchronization. Think of it this way. If I was throwing a medicine ball and I wanted to toss it this way, I would turn back and turn through and throw the medicine ball. Just like that. There's no need to flip and spin the medicine ball, right? Because my arms are in front of my body and they're working properly. Same is true in golf. I swing the club to here, then I rotate through to here. And even though it kind of looks like I'm flipping because it happens quickly, I'm actually just turning my chest and swinging my arms and trying to keep those hands neutral. That keeps the club face neutral. That leads to straighter, more consistent ball flight. So if you're one of those folks who's working on the old flipperoo, if you either roll your hands on the way back or feel like you have to roll them on the way through, you got to work on the timing between your arm swing and your body turn. Let's get your arms a little more in front of you and get everything synchronized a little bit better.